So I still remember the first coding project that I ever built. It was a simple Mario game that would generate these hash symbols based on a height that the user would have to input. Extremely simple, but this is what got me started with building coding projects. And today, having built more than a hundred coding projects, everything from websites to automation projects to AI bots and even a fully fledged tech startup, I'm here to tell you the top five lessons that I've learned about coding through building all of these projects throughout the years. These are all lessons that I really wish I knew before I started programming and you being able to know these now is actually going to help you a lot in your coding journey. And it includes some very surprising thoughts about what programming is actually like, what it actually means to be a good programmer and how coding has actually taught me things about life that I never thought programming would help me with. Lesson number one, coding can be absolutely brutal. This is one of the first lessons that I learned as I got into coding. Computers work based on pure logic. There is no room for emotion when you're coding. If your code is wrong by even a little bit, it is going to crash and your computer is not going to care how much you scream at it or how angry you get or anything like that. And especially at the start when you haven't even fully internalized the basics, like the basic syntax, and you're constantly having to check for stuff online to even build the most simple thing, you will realize just how mentally taxing and how brutal the process of coding can be. It is very, very unforgiving. And this is why so many people quit. Things get hard, you realize that, oh shit, it's actually not always fun. It's actually pretty hard to get good at it and you need a lot of very exhausting hours in front of the computer. That's why many people quit. And this is a lesson that I am reminded of every single day when I code. Every single time I am getting frustrated, I'm like, this should work, but it's not working. And like that is just what you have to get used to when you get into programming. If you're the type of person who has the resilience, who can sort of enjoy that challenge, then you will really thrive as a programmer. If not, then coding is probably not for you. Lesson number two, coding teaches you to think. And this sort of continues on from the first lesson. There's this popular quote by Steve Jobs that goes, everybody should learn to program a computer because it teaches how to think. And I think this is absolutely spot on. So I mentioned that computers work based on pure logic. Programming to me is logic at its purest Form. You're learning these logical rules that have been defined on essentially how programming works, how programs flow. And if you are wrong by even a little bit, if there is even a small mistake in your logic, so your program, then the thing is just not going to work. You're going to have to learn to be extremely logical and to think through this with pure logic, with no emotion. And this is actually very helpful in life because in many situations, we as humans are emotional creatures. Let's say you're having an argument with a friend about something. Often there are situations where really there is no argument like you agree on the logic but it's the way someone says it or like some words they use that really trigger you and you get really emotional so if you can just detach from the emotion and learn to completely focus on the logic the logic of what they're saying the substance and then respond to it purely based on logic and really think through like does the logic follow like what's the proper response here this will actually help you go through life and being able to look at things with pure logic with no emotion genuinely helps me think about the world better and therefore have a more accurate picture of the world by the way if you're still a complete beginner and you want to become a great programmer and you don't know where to start and you specifically want to become a python developer and you want to be taught in a way that actually helps you internalize programming as fast as possible. I created a program called Python Developer Bootcamp that is specifically designed to teach you the code in the way that I really wish I was taught. In a way that is not gonna teach you a bunch of jargon and all these technical details that you really don't need to become a good practical developer that can build projects. The way I teach you in this program is that I essentially just give you the building blocks, the tools, the foundations of programming, and then I give you my mindsets my sort of philosophy on how to build projects on your own so that you actually become the kind of developer that can build real projects and actually know how to code. If you want to get hired as a developer, I also give you a full bootcamp on how to get hired, how to build your resume, how to build your LinkedIn, everything like that. So if you want everything in one place for a very honestly affordable cost, then I recommend you check out the top link in the description for my program. You're going to look at the description, look at the testimonials to see if it's right for you. And by the way, if you're 
you're from a developing country, I also have what's called purchasing power parity. So based on your country, you're actually going to be able to get a special discount code on my website. So just check the link down below in the description to see if you qualify. And with that, let's move on. Lesson number three, you will never learn everything. The more you code, the more you sort of realize how much there is to know that you don't know. Before I started coding, I had this image of top level senior engineers that they just like know everything and they have this magic ability. Well, all they can do is get a computer, open a code file and they just magically code anything they want. And to an extent, this is true. Once you get good, you can pretty much do anything with code. It is almost like a superpower, but it works kind of differently to what I expected. Like really, even now having coded so much, Every time I'm coding, most of my time is not spent on typing out code, it's spent on Googling, it's spent on thinking about what I'm going to code, more on that in a moment. So it's important to remember that you will never get to the stage as a programmer, you'll just know everything, where someone can give you a task and you'll just automatically be like, yep, I know how to do that, this is how you do it. And then you do it. The way it's always gonna go is that you're gonna get some task, you're gonna think about it and you're like, Okay, I think we can do that, but I'll have to figure this out first. The biggest hurdle for beginners, including myself when I was a beginner, is imposter syndrome. It's thinking that, Oh, I'm just not good enough. Or, I should know this, but I don't know it. It's confident to know that you'll never know everything. You'll never be in a situation where you'll know everything. So therefore, it's okay that you don't know everything now. So what I've realized is that what makes a great programmer is not what they know, but their ability to figure things out and sort of the courage to take on a task that you have no idea how to do and then simply go out there, do Google, AI, ChatGPT and figure it out. And once you go through this process enough, you sort of build this confidence, not in everything you know, but in your ability to figure things out, that to me is what a great programmer is. And this all again relates to lesson number four, which is everything is figure outable. Now, this is a lesson that can be applied to literally everything in life. I genuinely believe that if you really wanna do something, you really wanna learn something, you can figure it out with the access to internet and all the tools we have, you have access to all of the same information as anyone else out there, especially in the case of programming, this is so true. Any programmer, again, even senior top level engineers, when they have to do something, they will go on Google, they will ask ChatGPT, they will use these tools to figure the thing out. Sure, maybe they can figure it out a bit easier the more experience they have, but they have access to the same tools as you have to figure out that same thing. So when you internalize this, that everything is figure outable, you can figure out anything if you just put your mind to it, it sort of gives you this feeling where you have this superpower in your hands of coding, where you can literally do anything with it that you want. If you're just willing to stick to it and you're willing to think about every problem for long enough to actually solve it. In my first job, I had to learn Java in just 14 days, a programming language I had never used before, but I was able to do this because obviously I had experience in a different programming language and I just had the courage, I had the confidence in myself that yes, I can figure this out and I had the resilience to simply try to figure it out and not just go, oh, I can't do it, like most people would. So if it's possible to do it, I can do it because everything is figure outable. Lesson number five, writing code is easy. Knowing what code to write is difficult. So this is sort of a lesson that is especially become relevant now with the age of AI. It's sort of been interesting because when I started learning the code, there was no ChatGPT, there was none of these AI tools, but now we have access to them. And even before this, like it was like this, it just took time to write the code. Now it just almost takes zero time to write out a lot of simple code because AI can generate the code for us. A lot of people are like, oh, programmers are being replaced. Like what's the value of learning the code with this AI? But really the value of coding was never the code itself it was knowing what code to write, how to architect your app, what tools to combine, how to essentially design the application from like a user experience perspective. This was always where the value of coding was and simply writing out the code was essentially something that even a monkey could do if you just give it instruction. Okay, write an if statement here, like call an API here. Like anyone can actually write the code if you have precise instructions on what code to write. It's knowing what code to write and deciding how to architect your applications where the value actually comes. And this is actually the difficult part of programming. Just yesterday, I was building out a prototype for this new app that we're sort of working on. And it took me like two days to figure out like how I was going to build this application, but it only took me like an hour to actually write out the code to execute on the architecture that I had designed. And the more you code, the more you sort of understand this. And also the more you code, the more you understand that no, 
AI is really not going to replace programmers because writing out the code was always the easy part anyway. So it's interesting to me to film this video and sort of reflect on my experience with coding because I'm now back here in Finland visiting parents and this is where my coding journey started. It was actually on this very desk right here where I built my very first coding project in my life. And now obviously I live around the world. I'm sort of a digital nomad. I built my own things. It's sort of interesting thing just how far I have come believe me like if you're a beginner right now you might not believe that you can actually do it you can actually learn to code but if I was able to do it and like build this massive life with coding you can do it too if you just stick to it I know the market isn't as easy now as it perhaps was a few years ago but people are still doing it people are doing it every single day you just have to stick to it you just have to keep working and eventually you will get there by the way if you learn to code you need to be building projects like that is really the only way that you're going to actually learn these lessons and actually become a competent programmer so if you're looking for project ideas that are specifically good for beginners where you can perhaps get started on your process of building these projects they're going to make you into a good programmer i recommend you watch this video right here is one of the most popular videos on my channel where i go through three specific automation projects that are really really fun that are going to get you excited about coding watch this video and i'll see you in the next one